All right, so today I'm going to give you all a quick zucchini slash squash tutorial. Um, first off, sometimes you need to prune your leaves to make room for more airflow and so your bees can pollinate the plants, but also these little buggers right here. These are not aphid eggs. They might be a vine borer eggs. Either way, there's some insects eggs that we don't want on our plants. And so you can prune your leaves or you can wash them off with neem oil or dish liquid. So I pruned it down a little bit. Didn't do too much. You don't got to let them go bald. But this is the process of what pruning them looks like. You just come out with your shears. You clip the long edges of the leaf. So you see how I'm clipping the long edges of the leaf being mindful not to clip the actual flowers or fruit of the plant which I'll give you a close-up on here in a second but just little chops here and there to get the job done clearing some room sometimes I can get a little prune happy and trim the plant all the way down but this is basically like trimming your hair and so it keeps the air flowing it helps the bees get to the flowers quicker. Yeah. Let me give you a close up on this crookneck squash plant. So we have quite a few squash about to come in. Lord willing that they pollinate. Let me show you the difference between the male and the female flowers. So this is a female because it's going to produce the fruit. You see it's a little thicker. That's going to be the squash and that's the flower head right there. Whereas... Wait, and here's another one. See, the big body and the little flower at the tip. And actually, some of these beside it, my camera will focus, are going to be as well. Anywho, let's move on down, move around. This is a male flower because he just has the long... Oh, <laughs> well, damn. One of my only pollinators on here. Let me stop playing with this plant trying to show y'all stuff. But... This is a male flower because they just have the stem and the flower. It's no bulky, bulgy, fruity part. we go another male. He just got a stem and the flower head. Alright, here's a more steady example. So we got the fruit, female. That will be a flower head. They open when they want and this would likely be a male flower or down here we have the male flower because it's just all stem and flower it's probably ain't nothing in there pollinating all stem flower male all stem just long just long and then boop, the tip then over here we got the fruit so fruit female it's bulky and then you got the little the little tip the little the clip if you will nature is just like us definitely is mm -hmm. 